1948, by running a simple TV cable, Service Electric launched an entire industry. In the 56 years since, we've reached many milestones, like giving your life clarity and definition, connecting you to the world faster, and letting your voice be heard while never forgetting what got us here. Service Electric Cable and Communications, a clear vision for the future. Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. After a season so far plagued by injuries, the Outlaws seem to be back and healthy for Saturday's game against Rochester. However, they suffered offensive and defensive breakdowns as well as more injuries in this past 45-33 loss. Meredith Morakovitz has the recap. The 4-2 Rochester Raiders took on the 3 at Stabler Arena Saturday night. The Outlaws had revenge on their minds after losing 90-45 to in Rochester just a few weeks ago. Picking up the action in the first quarter where Matt Cotton Jim was getting it done, he made it look easy as the Raiders took a 7-3 lead. Just minutes into the second, Cotton Jim would find Noah Farron back in the end zone, score now 14-3. The Outlaws fired back as Steve Cook runs it in. Then the defense would capitalize on a bad snap. The Outlaws are within two. Chris Reed would hit two field goals to give Lehigh Valley an 18-14 advantage with 9.8 seconds left on the clock. But Rochester manages to come back thanks to Mo Jackson's unbelievable catch. The Outlaws coaching staff argued, but the touchdown would stand. Raiders up 21-18 at the break. In the second half, Reed would tie it at 21, but they couldn't seem to take the lead. Reggie Cox would find the end zone twice. As would Lehigh Valley's Steve Cook, he'd tally three touchdowns on the day. The Outlaws would bring it within five, however, they'd fall apart in the final minutes. Rochester wins 45 to 33. Jim, this has got to be a time where you're extremely frustrated knowing this was a very winnable game. Oh, real winnable. Um Game was right there to the end. That, that, that last call at the end, we, I mean, we've been struggling through bad calls all night. We had a pass interference call down here I was looking for. I'm not one to complain about officiating, but they were horrible tonight. Down at the end line, their team wasn't set. They were in an illegal defense. They sent everybody into the backfield when they got that touchdown. I was arguing they weren't set. That play should have never happened. Down here, we had a touchdown, but where's the flag? They mugged up Stevie Cook early. Whole night. I, I, I don't usually complain about it, but they were terrible. Aside from the officiating, you got to be, you had opportunities, but you had penalties, you had turnovers. That has to be another frustrating aspect of this. Our offensive line, game was on the line at the end, didn't protect Chad. Chad forced three balls over the middle late, which is the, the first no-no of quarterbacking. You don't throw a ball deep down the middle, you know, or late down the middle. Um, the rest of the team fought. I was proud of the way we were playing. I really thought we were in the game, we were there. And then a couple plays uh, cost us. So how do you get back on track now? Well, again, I, I said before, I thought Rochester was the best team in the league. So um, we know we can play with them. We know a couple balls bounce our way here. We beat them. So we know we're there. We just have to come together as a team and get there. On the scene at Stabler Arena, Meredith Morakovitz, Two Sports. <laughs>